All right, today we're going to be taking a look at some items that I got from the Peterson Games store. They're the company that does the Cthulhu Mythos and whatnot. They always have interesting sales on their website. I thought I'd try out their mystery grab bag from the holidays. I haven't even had a chance to take a look at these yet. Uh, but I know that their mystery grab bag, boy, I, what I really wanted from this was the collector's edition. The main Cthulhu Mythos book for 5e. Uh, and there was a ding and dent version of it. So a, a damaged version of it for a decent price. So that's what I got along with two other items and another book which arrived separately. And I got a, uh, a very big bag. Now the drawback to this is because I did hit it lucky with the mystery bag. Uh, shipping was expensive, but I got a whole lot of stuff. So I don't feel so bad for that shipping considering how much extra stuff that I got. Right off the bat, I immediately knew what the first item was. This Cthulhu miniature. A very nice rendition of the classic Cthulhu. Yeah, what a nice sculpt. So yeah, again, I did not order this. I got this free through their mystery grab bag, so lucky enough to grab that. Also, I believe uh, some random miniatures from another faction Ooh, that's a cool base that's pretty cool and we got some mutants and other little cthulhu beasts i am just now starting to investigate cthulhu stuff Ooh, here we go the hound of something something but uh yeah that's really nice sculpt Look how sweet that is. Obviously, these are from, uh, I think, mostly the Cthulhu Wars is the board game these are from. Wow, look at that tail. That's a nice nice little details on the tail. Yeah, I got the hooves. Wow, a nice sculpt. Uh, again, I'm, again, just doing research into the whole Cthulhu stuff here. So, uh, you know, I don't know the correct names of any of this stuff. Ooh, I think this might be like the... Weird alien guys. Oh, this guy had a busted off arm, but it busted off at the uh, the thing though. So actually, it's not going to be too easy. I'll be able to get that back together. So we have one casualty so far, but uh, yeah, certainly worth it. Wow, look at that! Again, the sculpts on the Cthulhu War stuff is, I mean, are very amazing. Uh, I like them quite a bit. Uh, what do we got here? Peterson Games, and we got a cardboard box. Did I order this? Ooh, a, a caco demon! Yeah, look at this. Obviously not the Doom caco demon, but rather the Cthulhu Mythos version of it. But wow, look at that. If you can't tell what's going on, this is like an upside-down floating face with multiple miles. Wow, just really amazing. Did not order that of all the stuff that I've opened up so far. And it even comes with the little card here, which is nice. And we got another box. Again, I don't I don't believe we've even gotten to any of this stuff that I've ordered so far. This is just extras. Look at this. Look at this. This is a massive pack of cultists. Wow, look at this is Wow, I'm actually shocked. How many miniatures is this? This is really nice. I really I this is a very very good special. Obviously, they had a lot of these miniatures left over. Um and instead of just uh you know, they're they're selling them on their website. So I'm getting these straight from Peterson Games. These cultist miniatures, the various ones, I mean, these are going to be just perfect for D&D. Just absolutely perfect. Um, the vast ma well, all of these that I'm looking at, uh, these definitely are not factory seconds uh, because they are in perfect condition. But, uh, yeah... We got some uh, Arctic Explorer guys as well from the various expansions here, if you can see. 
Wow, that is... That is really nice. Ooh, I love the variation on all the different cultist guys. These are all from various different factions. But these will fit in very nicely with D&D stuff. Again, I've been researching uh, Cthulhu Mythos stuff to go along with D&D because I want to do some custom campaigns with uh, Cthulhu Mythos stuff. And boy, I am all set. Ooh! <laughs> We got the classic uh, fisherman, perhaps from Innsmouth. Look at that. That is very... My camera is not doing these justice to have to do some close-up shots later on. Various little cultist guys. That, I did not expect that. I did not expect a just a massive bag of just random cultists. That is very helpful and cool. So yeah, I think the rest of it, I think the, well, actually, look at this. There's another package here. No way. There's another package. I cannot believe this. What else we got here? Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, we got, uh, we got the little, uh, Brown Jenkin guy. I, I don't remember where I remember this guy from. Look at that. Look at how creepy. Look at how creepy the little guy is. Very, very, very useful for D&D &D stuff. So this is all freebie stuff. I only paid shipping for this. So of course, because you put so much plastic in a container, you're going to have to pay a little bit more for shipping. Uh, but I definitely think I got my money's worth uh, from this because, dang, I mean... Finally, finally onto the stuff that I actually ordered specifically... And I got this lovely hot stir here. This is from Cthulhu Wars. I briefly owned Cthulhu Wars, uh, but I was forced to sell it. But this was on sale, and this is one of the models that I really wanted for my future game. So I got it, as well as Azathoth. I, again, I don't know the pronunciations of all these Cthulhu mythos. I just have ideas of like what I want. So Azathoth. Or Asadoth? I don't know. I'm sure there's... Uh, eventually I'll learn how to pronounce all the uh, weird Cthulhu names. But look at that. What a great... What a great huge miniature. And finally, we have it. The uh, Damaged Collector's Edition. Which, I mean... Look at that. Look at the shade of green on that. I really like that. So again, this was deeply discounted. I think it's uh, it might be considered damaged because the Cthulhu Mythos uh, branding is not on there as nicely as perhaps they wanted. But, I mean, this is a very nice... Ooh, a very... Wow, look at that. Look at the art. Look at the art! Ah, uh, that's so cool. I recognize that. Do you recognize that guy? Because we just saw him. Hot sir. We just saw him. And now we open up the back page there and it's the full art of him. That is very cool. So Cthulhu Missos. This is the uh, 5e version. Ah, <laughs> I love it when they do stuff like this. This is the uh, translucent inner cover. So you can see Cthulhu Mythos here, and then you open it up, and it's all backwards, because it's a translucent uh, inner cover. Ah, very high quality. Again, this was the damaged book, but uh, wow, look at this. That very cool artwork. Very cool artwork. <laughs> That's very cool. So this obviously has a lot of background stuff and a lot of like 5e. Oh, I love it when the I love it when the fancy books have the uh, lovely. This has multiple bookmark ribbons, which is nice. So yeah, I'm gonna run some uh, D and D stuff, including the Ganathor, which is the original kind of D and D uh, god of monsters and slimes and whatnot. Man, that's nice artwork. And we got all the monsters here. Look at this. Look at this. That is so very nice. 
deep ones, all the stuff. Anyways, so, oh, the old Lang Spider. Um, and I know Pathfinder uh, already, I know you can get this book in Pathfinder uh, too. But, uh, yeah. Look at that. That, I think, considering I basically paid um, reduced prices on all the main stuff. And for the extra uh, miniatures, uh, if I'm going to do some quick math in my head. It's only like $15 or $20 shipping, uh, which makes sense because, you know, you can't put in this many miniatures without charging dramatically more for shipping. Uh, but, I mean, considering that, like, just the Cthulhu alone, if you get this on, like, deep discount on a website, that, that'll cost you $10 right there just for this one miniature. And I got, you know, one, two, three, four, five larger miniatures and just, like, literally, like, probably close to... I want to say close to, like, two dozen medium-sized miniatures. I mean, that's... Uh, miniatures that I would have never bought. Like, I would have never bought the Cacodemon, I think, but, like... When you actually have it now, with the... <laughs> Even the base is cool. Like, the little spike sticking up from the weird symbol carved onto the base. I would have not bought this miniature, but now that I see it, like... Yeah. Ah, uh, got some plans for that one now. <laughs> so, yeah, Peterson Games. Um, like I said... Uh, good holiday prices, but they're always doing, like, random, uh, stuff, and it's good if you want to buy any of this stuff to buy it directly, directly from, uh, from them. So I know that the mystery bag, I think, is gone for this year, but they always have little different sales and whatnot. Uh, and, you know, if you, if you like people that produce stuff like this, uh, try, try to buy it directly from them. Because it's very tempting to, you know... If you're going to do a Cthulhu thing and you, you know, it's it's very tempting to get the miniatures uh, cheaper, uh, perhaps cheaper alternatives, because there are a lot. But uh, considering what I got here, this is just well worth my money. And again, just, oh, the feeling of the Collector's Edition book, even though this is perhaps one that they consider damaged. Um, I mean, there's, it's, I'm just flipping through it, there's no... There's no misprints or badly printed stuff, so, I mean, honestly, for a reduced price off what this originally was the MSRP for, you get a very excellent copy of this. I think they might still have a couple of the uh, ding and dent ones, and again, I'm not exactly sure why this is considered a damaged item, because the only thing I figure is, like, maybe... The cover isn't as nice as they would like it to be. But, I mean, this is just a immaculate collector's edition book, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe if you if you really want, like, the, the optimum premium collector's edition thing. But I love books like this just because they feel nice when you're reading them. So I'm buying this to read. So I'm not so much buying this as a collector's item. I'm buying this to read. And, uh, yeah, so a little bit caught there on the ribbon, but, I mean, there doesn't, there doesn't seem to be any damage to the text or pages or anything, so this is, this was a good buy for me. And then just the massive, large Cthulhu Wars miniatures, which I did own at one point, but, uh, I, again, I was forced to sell the Cthulhu Wars board game that I had, so, um, it's... It's really nice to get, like, the big miniatures that I wanted so I can use them for my D&D game. And, uh, yeah. I know Pathfinder uses Cthulhu stuff. I know that Chaosium does the uh, Cthulhu board game. Uh, Cthulhu RPG thing? I forget what the actual names are in terms of, like, the companies that do this. But you see these monsters come up every once in a while in pretty much any RPG and I'm definitely going to be, uh, I'm definitely going to be delving into the, the mythos myself, and coming up with some really cool uh, custom D and D scenarios with these miniatures. So yeah, that's what I got from the mystery grab bag sale, 
And like I said, you'll, you'll pay a lot for shipping, but considering the miniatures that I got, I, I cannot complain at all. I think this was an amazing bargain. Best of luck. Support independent creators. Wah!